This is the story of a man who never belonged anywhere, whose backyard is the world, whose ways of life are the dreams of escape for those who want action but never find it. The man, John Steele, adventurer. into a mirror, you see yourself exactly as you are. At least you think you do. But the image in the mirror is different. It's backwards. Your right hand is a left in the image and so on. Confusing? Well, the image came to life for me as a killer in a story I like to call Reversal Print. way I know to find adventure is to accept commissions, which is another way of saying you'll do anything legal for somebody for a fee. So when I got this assignment to go to number five camp up in the northwest, it smelled of trouble from the start. What I knew about a sawmill and logging operations, you could write on the back of a postage stamp. But the boss said go, and a job's a job. The Freeman's number five sawmill was up in the Red Rock Mountains at the other end of nowhere, and it took me a day and a half on a jerky lumber train to make it. I didn't have to worry about missing my stop because it was the end of the line. We made it. All around the track were piles of lumber drying out, and the forest looked like there'd been a war going on. That's what a sawmill does, I found out. They go after big stuff and crush the small growth, getting it out. When I swung down from the train, I saw there was a store and a bar on the other side of the tracks. I was heading for the bar when a short guy with a hawk nose saw me and hurried over. Well, you got back quick, huh? Huh? Didn't expect you to maybe dazzle. I don't get it. And look at that mustache. What's wrong with it? Wait till the big boy sees it. Look, mister, you know who you're talking to? Oh, I know who I'm talking to, he says. Where'd you get some fancy clothes? <laughs> the city sure took care of you, Benny. Hey, who do you think I am? Ah, Benny, take it easy, take it easy. I was just kidding you. Can't you take a little kidding? I'm not Benny. That's Benny, he says. Yeah, let's go in and lose, have a drink. Now, wait a minute. I told you You've that I... You've got plenty of time, haven't you? i got to get to the mill if I'm going to... I know, big boy. Let him wait. Let him wait beside Sal there. Who? City noises make you deaf. Sal. Oh. Come on. Sal. Over the corner, huh? What's the difference? Big boy wouldn't want you to get in no fights just when you come back from the city. Maybe I like fights. Yeah, you wouldn't be Benny if you didn't. Look, I am this not... This fool's good enough. Eh, yeah, I bet big boy will be surprised you coming back so fast. Look, let's get this straight once and for all. When I got off the train, you took me for somebody you know. No, of course I know you. You think you do, but you don't. You don't know me. I'm a guy named... Getting Jeff. high hat, Benny. What? What's all this talk about knowing you? Maybe you can explain to this guy, lady. Now I'm lady. I don't know what this is all about, but... New mustache, uh, new clothes. Too bad this city couldn't make any other improvements. Ah, Sal, that's no way to greet a fella just back my trip. Go get the drink. You may look different, Benny, but I bet you got the same rotten little mind. Now, wait a minute, sister. Get the you... drinks, Sal. Get the drinks and make it this special for Benny here, huh? All right. I'll get them. You! Uh, sit still, sit still. Somebody beat some decency into you down in the city? I told you I'm not your Benny, and now I'm telling you. Do something nice for anybody, and I'll believe. I'll get the drinks. No, no, Benny. Hey, you get them, Sal. Well, if Benny's going to... I want to talk to Benny. You, 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 you set him up. It's your party. Hurry back. I will. But not for you, Benny. <laughs> Bet you didn't find a better looker down in the city, did you? She's got what it takes. Yeah, that's what you always say. Don't worry, none. Don't worry. She'll start liking you one of these days. <laughs> you work up at the mill? Yeah, of course I do. I run the cutoff. You know that. What's your name? Look, Benny, this is me, Shug. Shug? Yeah, you started calling me that yourself because they used so much sugar on everything. Did you get hit in the head? I may look like you're Benny, but I'm John Steele. I work for come an outfit that... Benny, come on, but I've been working with you for over a year now. Always you got to think up some kind of joke. And you're the only one who gets a laugh. It's about time somebody told you the jokes aren't funny. Here. Thanks. Well, here's luck. <laughs> Ah, what do you call that stuff? Tastes like... Rat poison. You're not kidding. Sure, <clears throat> she's kidding, ain't you, Sal? Yeah, I'm kidding. I've tasted worse stuff, but I don't know where. Right here, last week. Now, lady, 
I want you to tell this me... This lady that... business. You picked that up in the city, too? Well, uh, Sal. That's your name, isn't it? <laughs> That's your name, he says. Don't start it, Benny. I'm not Benny. Okay, you're John something or other, but don't start it. Don't start what? You know what. Every time you get a drink and you have to fight you off. It's hot in here. Nah, it's just you and them city clothes, Benny. Uh, maybe, maybe so. Uh, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> What's wrong, huh? You don't want me to look at you? It's, it's hot, I... Well, that drink must have hit me. You never could hold him, Benny. No, I tell you, I'm... I'm not Benny. Want another drink, huh? No, no, I... <laughs> can't look at my arm. It's just too heavy. <laughs> what you... What you looking at me like... Like that, you... You think I... You think you... <laughs> Another drink, Benny? Another drink? Well, there he is, sure. You did good, kid. You did good. Now you deliver. The door's on him somewhere. Just give me the hundred you promised. That's all I want. Yeah, it's not these coats. Better work fast. We'll be over here soon. You must have it in the money belt. Let me see. Look, he even has a wallet with a name on it. John Steele. Yeah, that door's got to be on him. He's a letter, too. The room is beginning to spin, and I let my head rest on the table. First time out, and I fall for one of the oldest tricks in the business. The Mickey and the drink. A couple of drops and one drink, and the room tilts on its side. I could feel the guy's shove going through my pockets, but I couldn't do anything about it. There was lead in my arms. The bench was sliding sideways, and I was sliding with it. Down to the brown to black. Brown to black. Brown to black. 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 beginning of danger and a piece of the unknown. There's much of these when in a moment we hear more in the story of John Steele. ripping and grinding was inside my head. It felt big enough. When it got clear, my head I mean, I realized a sound came from the mill somewhere nearby. Each time the saw hit a knot, the noise sent me to the pain through my forehead. There had been a strong Mickey in that drink. Then my face was wet. I thought it was sweat, but when it splashed into my ears, I knew it was water. Someone was pouring a pail of it over me and slapping me in the face. Come out of it, Granny. Come out of it, Willie. Quick. Come on. I warned you about drinking, you little punk. Will you quit? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Where's the dough? I. Dough? Now snap out of it, will you? I'm. I'm all right. Oh, sure. You'd be still on the floor at Lowe's if Sugar hadn't brought you back. Sugar. Yeah, yeah. What'd you do with the dough? I. I haven't got it. I know that. I've been through your clothes. I'm not. Didn't you see, Sanders? I didn't see Sanders. Twenty thousand bucks. Now where is it? You got me mixed with another guy. Huh? My name is John Steele. I wait a day and a half for you to wake up and you give me jokes. All right. So it's a joke. Now Benny, no more kidding. Didn't you get the twenty grand? I. No, I didn't. Why? Well, I. Uh... I know. You hit all the bars in the city. Then somebody poured you onto the train. I. I don't know. I... I don't remember. No, I figured you wouldn't. You're not going to get away with it, Benny. Now, listen. Now, listen to me. I'm going to phone Sanders down in the city. If he says you didn't pick up the 20 grand, then I'll know you never got past the bars down there. Maybe this Benny did get your... Quit playing games. If Sanders says he did give you the dough, you better deliver and fast. I don't know what you're up to. You can kid all you want, but don't kid with me now. I want that 20 G's. Go ahead. Phone your guy, Sanders. Get your 20 G's. My head aches. Leave me alone. Should have never sent you in the first place. I ought to know better. Oh, let me sleep, will you? No, no, you don't. Now, get out of here and over to the mill. You're on the rip. Now. Hey, shirt! If you brew that dough or stashed it away to cross me up, Benny... Watch out. I'll take care of myself. Yeah, you always do. You want me, big boy? Yeah. Get Benny here over to the mill. Put him on the big saw. And look to see he don't fall over. You leave it to me, big boy. The, uh, the city was too much for him. I, I know, yeah. <laughs> sure. And Benny... Yeah. Benny, I'm talking to you. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't take up any more jokes. All right. Shave off that mustache. 
If I want to I wear it... I said shave it off. I... Okay, okay. Come on, Benny. Big boy don't like mustaches. <laughs> that scar on his lip. Ow! Now, smart guy. Get what was the idea of the Mickey? You're going to tell me? It's yours, it's yours. Then why the Mickey in my drink down at Lou's? Mickey? Don't oh, act dumb. I, I don't know about no Mickey. You and the girl. You yeah, put it... maybe Sal. She she put it on you. She went after the drinks. I knew she was going to. No, no. You were slit when you got off the train. Uh, remember? You was planning to make us think you were somebody else's. Some joke. Yeah. Some joke. Uh, yeah, you even had a billfold with this other guy's name in it. Uh, and a letter. How'd you know that? Uh, it dropped out of your coat pocket when I carried you up the hill to the mill. Where is it? I got it right here. I was saving it to give to you when you come around. Yeah, yeah. The money's all there. Count it. Sixty bucks. Where's the letter? The letter? Oh, yeah, the letter. Give it to me. I, I haven't got it. Uh, must have lost it along the road somewhere. Don't hand me that. Honest, Bunny, you lost it. All right, all right. Let's get to work. Hey, where are you going? The mill's over this way. What? Yeah, yeah, I know it is. I still got a head on me from that Mickey, I guess. Hey, you never could hold your drink, Bunny. No, I never could. While I worked that day, I had a chance to think over what happened. This guy, Benny, must be a dead ringer for me. Or maybe I really was Benny myself. And all the life of John Steele was a dream. Anyway, it served very nicely and fitted into my plans for me to be this Benny for the time being. I didn't make any slip. The real Benny didn't get back too quick. I could get my job done and go home. Then I got to thinking about the girl, Sal. And when we quit that night, I washed up, shaved off the mustache, and headed for Lou's place. Lou himself was behind the bar, and he didn't seem happy to see me. You again? That's bad, huh? I'd pay you to stay away if you take it. What's the matter? Don't I spend enough money? You're trouble, and I don't like trouble. Where's, uh... Sal's over there in the booth. Thanks. I'll be here watching you. Can I sit down? You mean you're asking me? Well... Want a drink? No, thanks. Good. That makes two of us. I don't believe it. What? Passing up a drink. Well, I... Well, a, a guy can change. Not you. I learn. And I don't like Mickey's. Oh. You did it very smoothly, lady. Very smooth. Thank you. Now, suppose you tell me why. Why? That's right. I don't mind telling you. For a hundred bucks. Who gave you the hundred? I didn't get it. Shug? Might be. What do you need with a hundred bucks? We won't go into that again. Yes, we will. If you wanted that much, you should have come to me. How many times have I asked you? What do I get? He didn't even remember. Here. Twenty, forty, five, five, fifty. I'll give you the other half on payday. Well? It's another joke, Benny. It's no joke. No strings? Not a one. I've told you what I wanted it for. Uh, yeah, sure you have. And you're still giving it to me? There it is. You all right, Sal? No, look. Benny just gave me 50. And he's going to give me the rest on payday. What's the catch? None, Lou. She wanted it, so I gave it to her. Well, you might change your mind. She's not going to have to wait till payday. I'll get the other 50 for you right now, Sal. Lou, what? You want a drink, Benny? No, thanks. On the house it'll be. I'm doing all right without it. Yeah, if I didn't know you better, I'd say you wasn't... Well, there's a train to town tonight, Sal. We'll get you on it. Oh, you're swell, Lou. Guys just don't change, that's all. They don't change. Not guys like Ben. Thanks, Benny. Forget it. I don't understand it. You're too good to be stuck up here in the hills. That isn't what you said before. Can't you forget all the rest? I wish I could. I don't see how you got here in the first place. What? I said it's hard to figure why you came here in the first place. Are you sick, Benny? No. Why? You don't remember my dancing act? How the show broke up six months ago? Your promise of a job? Here? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know all that. Well, then why the Innocence Act? Well, I... Uh, you got the money. What else do you want? What happened down in the city? Nothing. Yes, it did. You're different. It's almost as if you're not the same person. Sal, I want to tell you Don't something. Don't tell me anything, Benny. Tomorrow you'll be your own grimy self again. Cruel, thoughtless. And... Sal, I'm not Don't the guy... Don't spoil it, Benny. And remember that you had just 
one little moment of decency in you anyway. Goodbye. So long, Sally. Suspense and action. One leads to the other. The result we'll hear in a moment with the climax of another adventure with John Steele. This Benny, who looked like me, was quite a character in more ways than one. I went back up to the road to the sawmill under the bunkhouse and slept. The next morning, I was at the mill handling the big saw, slicing up the timber dragged in by the big cap tractor when Big Boy came down the trail from the office. He motioned me off the platform as I slid down the meter. My saw's face was grim. Come on up to the office. What for? I want to talk with you. All right. What's on your mind? In the office. Well? I talked with Sanders on the phone. Where's the dough? I haven't got it. Sanders said he turned it over to you four days ago. He did, huh? I'm not going to play with you, Benny. All right, what did you do with it? You put a rifle bullet into me, you'll never get it. I can play some so they won't kill. The first couple times. Nice guy. I'm nice until I'm crossed. Let's hear you talk. Uh, okay, well, I got rolled for it. What? They slipped a Mickey in my drink. You let city punks pull an old cat. I wasn't I... in the city. I was up at Lou's right after I got off. The Lou train. did it. You can't make that stick. Lou's it wasn't that... Lou. It was Shug and Sal. What? He was on to your, uh, our pitch here. And he cut himself in. He took the roll off me when I was out. Oh, that yellow little... If you want the 20,000, ask Shug. He's got it. You're giving it to me straight, Benny. What else can I do with that rifle in my stomach? Shug, that sneaking little... Come on. We'll take care of that little punk. Hey, there he goes. He's listening at the door. Hold it, Shug. I'll put a slug in your back. I'll come back to you. That's coming, big boy. Take it easy. Don't take it. I have the nerve. You never know. All right, Shug, inside. I, I, I didn't do nothing, big boy. I hear different. Get in. I was just coming Did up. Did you slip any here, a Mickey, up and lose? Now, big boy, Did I... You? I... Sure, I... Where's the money you got off them? I didn't get no money off them. You want a slug in your face? He didn't have none. Where is it? I ain't got no money, big boy. I give him the Mickey because... I was trying to help you. More gag? No, no. I, look, look, look. See, he, he was trying to cross you up. He was. Yeah, that was it. He What's was... this? I let her. I took off when he was out from a Freeman company. I, I, he was posing as a fellow named John Steele to them. That's what he was. He was going to sell you out to them. What's the idea, Shug? Well, you know what the idea is. You was going to get money from the company for telling them about Big Boy. Why, you... Hold little... it. You're going to believe him, Big Boy. You took this off of Benny the other night? Uh, sure, I did. Well, Benny, you're going to believe him? This picture on the identification card is you. The only difference is the mustache. It, it was a joke. Another joke, huh? Sure. Well, this isn't going to be a joke. <laughs> I threw the chair at Big Boy just in time to deflect the shot. I got out the door and ran for the woods as he untangled himself from the chair and came after me. He fired from the door and the shot flipped the tree just above my head. Big Boy was fast and he could shoot straight. I ran deeper into the woods, going off the dirt road and plowing through the underbrush. I knew I'd have to pull something or he'd be up with me. I doubled back down the hill on a diagonal, heading for the trail leading to the railroad. If I got to lose, he had a gun, and then it'd be more even. I didn't stop to listen. I just kept fighting my way through. Finally, I hit the trail and started toward the railroad and lose. I walked because I was too tired to run. The big boy caught me. He caught me. I was too tired. I just turned a bend in the trail and I got the shot. There was a guy coming toward me. I stopped and looked, and so did he. It was like seeing yourself in a mirror. You're, uh... uh... Hello, Benny. Yeah. Yeah. You finally got back. I, uh... Yeah, 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 I, I got back. Welcome home. If I wasn't standing here sober, I'd... I'd think it was me. Maybe I am. I... I never seen anything like it. You're... You're me. Same face, same build, same eyes, you... Hey, you even got my clothes on. They were up in the bunkhouse. Ha, <laughs> yeah. 
That big boy and Shug thought you was me. They did all right. Ha! Ah, some joke, huh? A big one. Who are you? John Steele. It's, it's like seeing me. I know what you mean. I, I heard about it once. Each guy's got uh, another guy somewhere on earth, just like him. Uh, they call it, uh... You're double, Benny. Yeah, yeah. That's us. Double. <laughs> hey, Steele, where you ducking off to? No, I got you, Benny. What? Oh, big boy. Hey, look, I got you. I got it. Try and cross me up, huh? All right, lay there and rot. And, and so I brought Sal up here because she knows I didn't take no 20 grand off Bunny when he was out. Is that right, Sal? We just took a wallet and a letter. Big wallet? No. I give it back to Benny. It had six... Wait a minute, you. Yeah, big boy. Did Benny see you after that night? Well, sure. He... I'm not talking to you. I saw him last night. I mean, I thought he was... And he gave you the dough? He gave me $50. What about the rest of it? That's all there was. Thought you would hold it for a minute. Yeah, she she was packing to catch a train. But, Sarah, sister, <gasps> you want me to break your arm? I don't know anything about... Where'd you put it now? Where's the dough? Out in the woods, big boy. Oh. I thought it... Hold it. I got a gun. Benny, Benny, give it up, big boy. Give it up. Hey, watch it. Oh. <laughs> Yes. I went down to Lou's, but you weren't there. Sure came after me. Yeah, Lou told me. I took his gun and got up here. What about him? Oh, big boy? Ah, he'll come around. To face a murder rap. What are you going to do with him? Let him be. Where's Shug? Ran into the woods when big boy fell. He'll come back. You can't hide in the woods and live. Big boy knows that, so he won't try it. You're not Benny. No. I didn't think so. After last night. When Benny himself got off the train today, I could see the difference. Who are you? John Steele. Freeman Home Office sent me up here to investigate lumber shortages and deliveries. Oh. Big Boy and Benny had been routing extra carloads of lumber to a builder in the city, it seems. All I had to go on was a low output rate. Looking like Benny offered an inside picture, so I took advantage of it. I didn't help, did I? <laughs> Not much. I'm sorry. It was a break, actually. What? That Suge tried to cut himself in with a dope drink trick. It gave me time to figure the angle about Benny coming back with the $20,000 payment. Where is Benny? In the woods, with a bullet in his head. Big boy thought he was shooting me. Benny wasn't good for anybody, not even himself. No, I, I guess not. Uh, we'll have to hurry if we're going to catch the train. Come on. 